Danielle Barnes, principal at Chambly High School. Today we had a great visit with Dr. Horton. We had a great roundtable discussion with a student, a parent, and one of our community members. It was so wonderful to know that he was truly listening to us here in our community, in our school, to hear about the great things that are going on and some of those opportunities that we have that we know that we can do better. So I just want to thank him for his time today. My kids coming out of Shamley have been extraordinarily well prepared for college. Um, I have one getting a master's degree at Georgia Tech in civil engineering. Um, Denise came to be from Shamley to, to Georgia Tech. <laughs> but if there is a way to help get more volunteers, because there's people who will help and do things. I mean, I went yep. to the trouble of getting a clerical sub credentials so that I could help do some things. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get paid. I just want to be able to help. Yeah, it's going well. I think it's fun. I have a fun time with other people. Like people like to get involved this year. Mm -hmm. We're having fun at the football games and stuff. And volunteering is always great. One thing I will say working well is the partnership. Like we've a uh, great partnership between our parents. You know, there are certain things within the, the school choice that parents have to do, you know, parental involvement, volunteering. Um, but I honestly believe they would be engaged regardless, you know, mm -hmm. what, what is required. And so we just have a, a well-rounded group of scholars. We have STEM team, we have high school credits, and we have different engineering programs so our students can be successful or feel good about what they're learning. The enhancement courses, the accelerated classes, the different connection classes to teach them different abilities for the future and their daily life. The staff and the teachers here, you can tell that they're very invested in their students. There is a nice diversity in this school as well. I mean, the population is predominantly black, but in terms of religions and cultures, it's quite diverse, and I appreciate that as well. The culture, the climate of the faculty is, like in the last maybe two, three years, probably the best that I've seen in my 19 years of teaching. The culture and climate, I always brag about our culture and climate. Anytime you come into our building, it's a typical middle school, no. but I believe we're establishing a brand for Chapel Hill. The importance of my daughter seeing me involved, but also her peers. Uh, and one of the things that we really stress to her is, you know, not only staying on top of her grades, but really advocating for herself. Mm -hmm. And through her experience here at Chapel Hill, one of the biggest things that she learned was by advocating, you eventually earn partnership as opposed to uh, what is sometimes perceived as an adversarial you know, type of relationship between mm -hmm. teacher and student. Very open, very honest. Not one time did we ever feel like we could not yeah. go to a teacher and say, hey, what, what's, what's going on? Let's all work together. So um, definitely transparency. When I see the band, I saw the majorettes, I saw the cheerleaders, mm -hmm. and the cheerleaders' outfits were impeccable. It was mm -hmm. excellence. It's not just excellence in the classroom. Mm -hmm. it, what I'm mm -hmm. seeing is her excellence in everything that they do. It's a good school because like, they, have, they interact, they talk to parents, they talk to us, they make sure that everything's straight between the teacher, the parent, and the student. And they also believe in us. I feel like as someone who, you know, is parents who are always pushing you to try your best. That's what the teachers do here and this principal does here at this school. They always make sure that we put in our best efforts and they always make sure that we know that we're able to reach our goals. Mm -hmm. So, and they also encourage us, you know, be creative because I have classmates who are, all, are in all these different types of clubs because they know that they're doing something that they love and the teachers and the principals and our parents always make sure that they know that you know you can do what you love and you can also make that into a living. Absolutely, it's an honor to have you all yeah. supporting us. Yeah. And we'll be, we'll be back. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I heard. Yeah. What's going on? How you doing? Good. You been all right today? Yeah. Told you I was gonna come to your school. You didn't know that, did you? I did. You know I was coming today? Yeah. No, I didn't know today. You didn't know it was today, huh?
I feel like the things we need up here are more parent involvement. You know, if the school is trying, you need the parents to do their part too. Hey, this is one of my best years too, based off the vacancy too, because I was, I, last year I had a vacancy class and it was very hard for me to learn. And like this year I don't have those problems. So I feel like if I'm getting more educated now that I have like my teachers that's coming in and stuff. Cause with the vacant class, it's just like, it's more of just like online work. And it's just like, it's for me personally, it's harder for me to just learn from all online work without like a teacher actually like running through it. And like, it's not nowhere, nobody there to ask questions. Some of the seniors, really the seniors have taken such a tremendous uh, take into this space because for three years they've been here and there hasn't been anything like this. And so um, they did a survey latter part of last semester to kind of see what the needs were, what were the kids saying. They had about 250 uh, responses and the kids were just saying that we want to feel like we're being heard. And it was awesome to come here and kids were like, they heard us? Like they, they did something? The individuals that we have on a daily basis, we, we, we would need support from the district to hire more personnel because I would hate to burn them out in the month of November because yeah. they're giving us 100% every day. But the system within itself is excellent. We just need staffing to support that. Okay. All right, I'm Michael Alexander, principal of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. High School. Had the great privilege of welcoming Dr. Devon Q. Horton to MLK High School today. Got an opportunity to speak with him with some of our stakeholders, including my assistant principal, Miss MLK, my uh, SGA president, as well as my PTSA president, and a teacher, as well as a parent of MLK. Uh, we were able to be able to share some of the great things that are happening here at MLK with Dr. Horton and then some of the ways that the district could, su could support our school. And so it was a, a wonderful visit. We also had our board chair, Ms. Vicki P. Turner here today. And so it was just a great overall visit to have Dr. Horton in MLK High School. Thank you. Good afternoon. It is such a wonderful day here in DeKalb County School District. And I am Vicki B. Turner. I have the honor and the privilege of serving this community as the District 5 representative. And we happen to be at one of my favorite schools, MLK, Martin Luther King Jr. High School, nestled in this beautiful community here in DeKalb. My superintendent has come out our various chiefs, uh, the chiefs have come out with him, district leadership, to sit down with our principal, Dr. Mr. Alexander, to sit down with our PTA pres president. I think that this is a collaboration of discussion. I wear this button with intentionality. We are trying to be disruptors for excellence. And so as we go throughout the school community, we are identifying champions of disruptors, champions of disruption. That means not business as usual, no status quo. We're rising up to another level because our children demand it, our communities demand it, our parents should expect it. So I am excited. The collaboration and discussion today with our leaders and with our students, we are on fire for this district. Come on and join us and let's get disruptive together. Age Pride Certified.